So here we have a picture of um, Brandon Woodward as a happier time. He's at Santa, and the child there is getting some of the uh, TLC from Santa and so on. I looked at Santa and that lady, and the child knew that, you know, Brandon's days were numbered. Now, Brandon seemed to have made some strategic errors in his whole life. Um, well, first of all, Los Angeles County has recognized that criminals have mental problems, uh, faulty thinking at, at best. Um, and so, the guy who joins the gang basically hasn't thought it through. And he thinks that at the end of the day, he's going to make a whole bunch of money, he's going to live happily ever after, and so on. He's going to be you know, a good citizen and so forth. But little did he know that he could be charged with a conspiracy for anything that these guys do, one. Secondly, um, he could also be gone down uh, in a, a succession move. Somebody wants to take his position. Or a competitor, which is nearly the same. Um, or gets harmed by whatever he's doing. You know, drugs and smoke them, can get overdose or something like that. Family got messed up too. And uh, he has not only done drug dealing, but robbery and fighting and all that. Or fighting, you know, you got to be careful out this or you shoot your stuff if you want to fight like that. Especially a drunk or so. And, um, you know, the robberies he's done, he gained some felonies, and those felonies mitigating against him becoming an attorney. He seems to be progressing fine, transferring from one law school to the next. And um, his career in rap also, I mean, he should understand that rapping is a brutal um, activity. You have, to, you have to be good, you have to be able to do stuff for yourself, that trusted people that your bodyguards and that all that kind of stuff. So, you know, the law was going to be a problem. His rapping seemed to be the reason why he went to New York and got knocked off. So, I don't know what he could have done to survive, except if he had lived straight um, and didn't have any um, criminal record or anything like that, then he probably could have do the law. Uh, later on down the road, try some rap or be a manager for some rappers, uh, do, you know, entertainment law or contractual law and so on. And then maybe he could have sneak in and do his own little piece too and, and make it out there. But the criminal thing that he has done has uh, upstanded his whole um, chances and opportunities. Further, he might have been able to possess a gun and uh, that also could have helped him. But then again, he doesn't seem to understand what he's involved in. I mean, you have to be looking out. You can't be walking down any street without being conscious of stuff. I mean, if I'm walking around, I see a guy like that with a big wooden like that. And, you know, you perceive that something in right here is I either run back, cross the street, or go in a business place and chill out. And keep on and see if he's gone. You know, I mean, people might say you're crazy or you're paranoid, but you know for yourself what you have done, what you're involved in, and what you're going to do, etc. And you know who might be your enemies, and you just got to take care. You just can't study people, oh, I want to be seen as nice and not crazy or whatever. You got to take care of your business. Now, when I came to Puerto Rico here, some people wanted me to go scuba diving with them. Now, I mean, I don't know these people. I just come to Puerto Rico. Understand what scuba diving is? Scuba diving is going under the water with some equipment and all that and trying to stop. I mean, as long as you go under the water, they can do anything. That's about lurking over the way they you. Poke your foot and pull out in some stuff. Shoot your stab you. I mean, there's so many ways you can get harmed. Going on the beach alone with some people that you don't know you could get harmed again. So, you know, you just have to be careful. One lady wanted to invite me over by her place to spend the weekend and we go to the beach and all that. I'm not going to the beach. I'm not going to spend all the time by nobody's house. And none of that stuff, right? They say you're crazy, but you know what? I can't go around. I no criminal record. And uh, I, I'm not involved in a big set of conspiracies and so on. Um, over here in Puerto Rico, I had a problem with a guy once. And this young boy said, hey, man, you, you, you need some protege? He wanted to protect me. No, bro. I'm not afraid that this guy wanted to give me protection. I don't think he, he can have any theory as much as the other guy, much as, you know, protect me. But the deal is that he could go and do anything and I, I can be involved with that because I gave him permission to protect me as it were. And he's doing things to protect me. One of the guys said, man, anything happens to you, just let me know I can take care of fellas around here. No, man, I call the cops or I just let it slide because I'm not going to go to the ultimate and have them to want to kill me, you know, shoot me and so on. You know, you could always you know, beg your will to that, pay whatever, do it, whatever it needs, and bring it to a head. And so, you know, you just have to protect yourself, protect yourself, protect yourself. That's the rule. If you want to succeed in life, protect yourself, protect yourself, protect yourself.